Got a couple of compound inequalities for you. Okay, I have some and cases and I have some or cases. Let's start with this or case. How did we know there was an or case? It had the word or written there. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna solve them on down, solve them on down, solve them on down. These things work just like equalities except for one case. Wait for it, we'll get there. All right, so over here, I'm gonna subtract off a two. Subtract off a two, so I have a three X is gonna be bigger than, oh wait, three. Tee hee, tee hee, that worked out comfortably. Then I divide both sides by three. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then X is gonna be bigger than one. Fun, yeah. Solve this one on down. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna divide both sides by a minus two. But wait, there's more. Here's the case where this is different than the equalities. If I ever multiply or divide by a negative number, I have to flip the sign. If I multiply by a negative number, I have to flip the sign. Flip, 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 game over. Here I'm gonna have x's flip the sign. What's four divided by a minus two? Four divided by a minus two is a minus two. Ooh. So now that I, I, I solved them on down, I solved them on down, I'm gonna graph them both. Graph them, graph them. Yeah. Um, what's that number right there? Good, it's a minus two. That makes this one a one, fun. On the one, it appears I'm going to be shading to the right, to the right. Yeah, is it opened or closed? Open, open, open. On the minus two, it looks like I'm shifting to the left. And it's also open, open, open. This is the or case, is that the and? No, it's the or. Is that the everywhere or the overlap? Hmm, it's the everywhere. So we need to write down everywhere where it's shaded. It's minus infinity, two, a minus two. Oh, and union it up with one, two, infinity, and beyond. Let's come up here to the and case. To the and case. Well, would you look at that? They're the same setup. The difference is the and word. So if I was to solve them on down, I'd find that this was going to be x is bigger than 1, and this was going to be x is smaller than minus 2. Oh. I had done that work previously. Roll back about 30 seconds. Then I graph them, yeah. Here on minus two, I'm gonna shade to the left, and it's open. On one, I shade to the right, and it's open. Where do these overlap? Never, nothing, no solution, empty set em. Oh, I wanted to bring up this one last one. Uh-huh. If you ever see them written together like that, that's an and statement. Breaks up into two. It says 2x minus 8 is less than 2 and minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x minus 8. That's an and statement because it's written together. I can solve these in one fatal swoop. And here we go. First we're going to get rid of that minus 8. I'm going to add 8 to all sides. Great. Um, minus 2 plus 8 is 6. Is smaller than or equal to 2x is smaller than 10. Yeah, because I added 8 to here, added 8 to here, added 8 to there. Finish him. I need to divide everything by 2. What's 6 divided by 2? On the leg. It's 3. 2 divided by 2 is x. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. But wait, there's more. I have it set up like this. Blam! Closed on three. Blam! Open on five. And then it's shaded in between. Yeah. So then in interval notation, it's three, two, five. Open on five. Closed on three. That's pretty cloping. And I think so is this marker.